Oh my God. This is like the Cinnabon dream room. <laughs> I'm not well. You could say I'm all too unwell. <laughs> Hello Buns and welcome back to Cinnabon Sundays, a weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. And yes, my hair is a lot brighter than it was in the last video. Don't let that be too jarring for you. Today we are heading to St. Simon's Island in Georgia. And when I say we, I mean me, Bryant, and Cinnabon. We are taking a road trip for my cousin's wedding. We are gonna be there for about five days and it's about a five hour trip. So I figured this was the perfect chance to bring Cinnabon along, have a little bunny vacation without it being too quick, too far, all the things. With the holidays right around the corner, which is so exciting, but travel is a really big part of the holidays. And I think that this will be really good for you guys to have as those holidays get closer. For a time reference, it is about 10.30 a.m. right now. And I really love, if I can, to schedule my car rides around Cinnabon's big nap. I fed her this morning, gave her her hay, so I know that she's eaten, she's had water, she's gone to the bathroom. And now is when she would be the least active anyway. So since in the car, she doesn't like to eat, doesn't really like to do anything, at least that kind of coincides with her daily habits anyway. I'm trying to get there around 4 p.m. so that by the time she would start being hungry again and being a little more active, we can be out of the car and in our new location. Little Miss Pris, you ready to get in the car? No, you're not. Boopy, you ready to go on a car ride? You have no idea. You just think that we're hanging out here today. But we're gonna go to the beach and you can play in the sand. No, you don't wanna go? That's too bad, because we're going. A quick tour of our carrier. We have the Mr. Peanuts carrier and I'm obsessed with it. It's just the standard size. Inside I have some botanical hay, which is just Timothy hay with like herbs and stuff sprinkled in. It's super yummy and she'll at least eat some of that. Plus I have a puppy pad in there. So she has to relieve herself at all. Um, but yeah, that's kind of our carrier setup. Oh, and here's Gus the penguin. You excited? Appalachian sunrise. Meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow on golden, golden. Golden, golden things. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden i follow the golden it is so say hi hey. the beach is the beach is literally right there oh man look who's here say hi Laps. Yes. Oh my god. <gasps> this is like the Cinnabon dream room. <laughs> this is a Cinnabon dream room, Bryant. Look at this, and it's carpet for CB. It's like seagrass, which is her favorite. Yeah. Your guys are a lot heavier than Oh, look at this. Or you can even just do it here. Yeah, at night when we go to bed, we could close the door. I'm gonna take a nut Okay. You're living, like you live okay. in here. You're okay. You Look at this. Okay. This is perfect. Okay, so let's give a quick, I'm gonna give a quick tour. Hello. We are here, this is our room. It is so grand. It literally has seagrass floors, which is perfect for Cinnabon. And the best part is there's this huge like bathroom closet situation. So I think whenever we leave, I can just close this door here and then I don't have to money proof. What do you think, Clark? I think that's a perfect idea. 
Cinnamon says, I want to play. She's having so much fun. The closet is big enough for her. Yeah, I'll let her play for now since she's been stuck, but that's perfect. So when we leave the house, we can keep her in that area. This is great. Okay, so I set her little corner up over here. We have her litter pad and I put like little pee pads around. Some toys, her water, all of her stuff. I mean, this place is literally like bunny perfect. Really the only thing I wanna do is I wanna unplug some cords here so that she doesn't chew on things like this. I'm gonna do that. So we have made it to St. Simon's Island. Cinnabon was actually a dream on the car ride. So I wanna go over just a few things that I noticed. Typically on a car ride, Cinnabon will not eat or drink. And if it's longer than four hours, I try to offer her water from a syringe or some critical care. I feel like critical care can be like thought of as a scary thing. Cause it's like, oh my God, I only give my rabbit critical care when there's a problem. But if you make a really light dose of critical care, just like a little powder with water, it's hydrating for them and it gives a few nutrients. So it's good if they've been in a car and haven't been eating. So I like to travel with critical care on hand and I've used it before, but for this drive, it was five hours and I heard in the back her eating hay. When we stopped, I looked and she was eating hay. I offered her some veggies and she took those as well. So I didn't find the critical care needed. However, if she hadn't eaten anything, if it was a longer ride, all of things like that, I would definitely have offered her water or critical care. I think it really is just all my practice with Cinnabon in the car. She was great. Like she definitely didn't love it. She never loves it, but she remained calm, kept eating. We are here and she's hopping around and exploring as we speak. So I am feeling awesome. I put her hay and veggies down. She hasn't touched it yet, but honestly, we just got here and usually the first hour or two in a new place, all she wants to do is explore. She's just like, what is everything? What are all these smells? And then after she gets all of her like bearings set in, that's when she'll eat. So I'm not worried about it at all. Especially since look how active she is. She's just like, there's so many things to see. So many smells to smell. We'll check in later. You had me at a low. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else. I got you, and you got me too. You can ride out the blue. I wanna do what you want to. We can leave and run away someday. Someday. Hello. <laughs> um, I figured this would be a good time to post this as I am wrapped in my scarf after listening to the red Taylor's version release on the beach for two hours. I am not, I am not well. You could say I'm all too unwell. Oh man. Comment down below if you listen today. It's November 12th, the day it came out and that wrecked me so much. Oh my God. As far as Cinnabon goes, um, she ended up sleeping in the blocked off portion last night because I just didn't want to like roll over and squish her and she seemed very much wanting to sleep in the bed. And she likes to play and was hopping up and down so I just had her sleep in that area so she could be a little more closed off and not climbing in bed with me all night. But when I woke up this morning, I fed her, checked her litter box, tons of poop in there, she ate her hay, she ate her breakfast, all is doing well. She's a little just like still super stimulated because we're in a new spot, but as far as her normal like eating patterns and everything, we are good to go. So that's exciting. What is on tap for today is we have the wedding this evening. Cinnabon unfortunately is not invited to the wedding, but I do think we're gonna get some pictures with her before we go. But yes, and then the rest of the weekend is just gonna be beach time, hanging with Cinnabon, just doing our thing. So I'll see y'all then.
buns. I am home from the beach. My apologies if you hear like a crackling noise behind me. I have our fireplace going and I just, I gotta keep it going, sorry. <laughs> so we just got home about 30 minutes ago and Cinnabon has already gone to the bathroom. She's already munched on some hay. She drank some water. All signs are looking good, which is the best. My apologies for not really vlogging the weekend. We were there for a family wedding and I was just trying to soak up the time with everyone and be in the moment. But I do hope that the video footage from the actual traveling with Cinnabon was super helpful for you and made you feel better about traveling with a rabbit. I would say my biggest takeaways for rabbit travel is one, get your rabbit used to the car before you get on the road. The more little trips you can do with them leading up to the big day, the less traumatizing it is for them. Be prepared, bring everything. It is so much better to have more than enough than to find yourself like needing something from your first aid kit and not having it there. And the last thing is actually something that my boyfriend says to me a lot when I'm freaking out and it's that your level of stress versus calm is really, really going to affect your rabbit. So if you are in the car freaking out about them, most likely that's gonna make them freak out even more. So the more calm that you can be on track travel day, the more that's going to reflect in their attitude. I know it sounds a little hippy dippy, but they really are very sensitive, empathetic creatures. Anywho, that is all for today's video. I hope that you found it useful and I hope you liked coming along with us on this more vlog style video. I feel like these are always really fun to do. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you next Sunday. Bye buns.